Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have 2 to the power 1 over x times 3 to the power 1 over x is equal to the sixth root of 2 1 6. And we have to find the value of x. And as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. I can write the left hand side as 2 times 3 or to the power 1 over x and this is equal to now 6 times 6 is equal to 36 and 36 times 6 is also the same as 216 so this means that I can write 216 as 6 to the third power okay so in place of 216 we have the sixth root of 6 to the third power okay 2 times 3 is 6 to the power 1 over x and this is equal to now square root of a is the same as a to the power one half okay so if i have the nth root of a this is the same as a to the power one over n okay so this side becomes six to the third power to the power one over six all right now let's go ahead and then simplify this we have six to the power one over x is equal to now if i also have a to the power m or to the power n this is the same as a to the power mn okay so i can write this as 6 to the power 3 over 6 and this is the same as 6 to the power 1 over 2 okay so we have 6 to the power 1 over x is equal to 6 to the power 1 half the bases are equal, so I can equate the exponent. So we have 1 over x is equal to 1 half. Alright, now let's go ahead and then cross multiply. So we have x is equal to 2. And this is our final answer. Now let's go ahead and verify our answer. So we have 2 to the power 1 over x times 3 to the power 1 over x should be equal to the sixth root of 2, 1, 6. So when x is equal to 2, we have 2 to the power 1 half times 3 to the power 1 half should be equal to, now we have this one to be 6 to the power 3 or to the power 1 over 6. All right, so this one we have 2 times 3 or to the power 1 half is equal to 6 to the power 3 over 6 okay so we have 6 to the power 1 half is equal to now 3 goes into itself 1 and goes into 6 2 times so we have 6 to the power 1 half since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we can conclude that x equals 2 is a solution to this problem i hope you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching See you again on the next video.